and now you'll be able to enjoy your match tonight with Efren Reyes. Yeah, it should be great. I mean, yeah, it should be great. I mean, the last thing I wanted is like needing, not even to win, needing even one wreck. One wreck. So, you know, I really look forward to it. A few moments later. Yes, many players in the game feel that if Reyes does have an Achilles heel, let's see who he's hit here. Another one. What? So, and then the crowd. This is the WPA Nine Ball World Championships in the year 2004. Today we are going to watch a very entertaining match for the 2004 WPA World Nine Ball Championship. A clash of two champions that did not turn out as expected. A great snooker player, a former World Pool Masters champion, a former 10 ball champion, and one of the most fastest players in the world. The Tornado, Tony Drago. He will match up against a man who needs no introduction. The pool superstar from the Philippines. He is no other than the magician. Now, does, do you fans think he's going to win? <laughs> Efren Bata Reyes. Efren wins the leg and breaks the first track. He pockets the one ball and six ball. He fails to make the two ball, hitting it too thick. Tony Drago immediately stood up and goes for the shot. There is, uh, Tony, Drago was so quickly down in his shot that Efren... Tony is known for his fast playing style. Sometimes when there's absolutely... It is somewhat entertaining to the audiences. He is one of the fastest pocket billiards player in the world. That's right. Many people know at home it's not just that Tony Drago got to the semi-finals of this world championship. Of all the snooker players, I would say... He has also a snooker background. Certainly the most practiced and in the world, of course. He reached the quarterfinals of the World Snooker Championship in 1988. He's a player now, an all-rounder. Waste a little time in opening... even one wreck. Here in this one, one down to know. Tony Drago breaks the second rack. Unfortunately, Drago scratched. Efren now has ball in hand. Now an easy 4 to 7 combination to clear this rack. Well, a lot of these players are Reyes is known for his highly unorthodox skewing technique. He uses a very light grip on the cue, using only his forefinger and thumb. A warm-up stroking that involves both wrist and shoulder movement. Giving the appearance of a moving piston. Now Efren Reyes with a good warm-up, the score now is tied to 1. My friend makes a very good break putting the one ball and the five ball. Yes, many players in the game feel At first glance, it looks like Efren does not have a pocket for the two ball, but watch the shot very carefully. You would know it after the first two he's hit here. Wow! A very creative shot by the magician as he kissed the two ball off the eight and pockets it in in the side pocket. This is where Efren Reyes stands out from any other professional pool players. Somewhat easier to break off on the television. You can see shots that a normal player could not perceive. Actually seen that yet, but got some interesting views on the break off shot in the World Championship. Another great shot on the six ball while opening a shot on the seven into the side pocket. These tables might really. Look how he landed on the nine ball here. Keith McCready. He enjoy it here. Now Efren Reyes takes the lead of the match two to one. Tony Drago breaks the fourth rack and makes a ball but got no shot on the one ball. One respect. 
is the two. He tried to feather the one ball and hide the cue ball behind the six ball. Efren was able to cut it and watch how he landed on the two next. Efren Reyes is the best in cue ball control. He can certainly maneuver the cue ball exactly where he wants to put it. Look how he landed nicely on the four ball after a three cushion position play. Spotted cue balls. Reyes also popularized the method of positional play using multiple rails to control the speed of the cue ball. He knows how to use the rails and how much force he applies in each stroke and use it to his advantage. A nice stroke on the 7 ball and the 9 ball to extend the lead. We move now to rock 5, a friend to break. And he's uh, leading. Tony Drago, three a friend made five balls on the break. What an explosive break from the magician as he made five balls disappear from the table. He made the one, four, six, and seven, and eight ball in a powerful break. He attempts a safety play here and was a little bit unlucky. He left it exposed to Tony Drago, but the distance might play a role here. Playing the safety to just in front of the middle pocket. And it's just poked its nose out. It yeah, it shouldn't be great. I mean, Tony Drago made a terrible shot here and left the two ball available on the side pocket. Didn't look a problem. Making. Now, Efren Reyes proceeds to clean up the remaining balls of the rack. And the table in his group. He will be looking forward to get to the hill first. The last 64, they've survived Judgment Day. And the last thing I wanted is like needing, not even to win, needing even one wreck, needing even one wreck. Tony Drago is certainly a great player, but he did not expect this kind of performance by the magician. The route somewhat. So I from found himself with a Tony Drago still has to think positive because the game is not yet over. Yes, that's the case with. Tony Drago breaks the 6 rack and instantly made a 7 ball. He makes a simple save here, thins the 1 ball and go with distance. But of course, Efren is a master of kick shots. Tony Drago immediately went for a counter safety just right before the cue ball stopped. This year. Really Another brilliant save from Efren drives the cue ball up table. Stars Jose <laughs> Perica, now lives in America, failed to make it through the qualifying stages. A very controlled stroke from the tornado. <laughs> Efren has a full view on the one ball, but something unexpected happened here. Something Tony Drago did not saw this coming. He doesn't want this to really go in. Thank the crowd. Now, a very difficult two. What a surprise bank on the one ball by the one and only poor magician. He attempts a safe again and made distance from the two ball. Yes, I thought he might be playing that shot. It's just come unstuck. You know, I really look forward to it. I can now. Efren's got the choice. Tony Drago went for the carom on the six ball but failed to make it. He left a shot on the two ball and now the balls are spread out nicely. It was a low percentage carom shot by Tony Drago and it did not went well for him.
He was playing very well in the previous round, but it seems that he just stumbled against a greater player. Here today, I've really been treated to some terrific no, FNAS with the last two most to win this match. And one wreck and in the crowd. So, you know, I really look forward to it. It's all in your hands. So, you know. Unfortunately for the tornado, Tony Drago, he was dominated 5 to 1 against the magician. It was a display of mastery not just in the break shot, but great position play, kick save, and excellent cubo control. The WPA 9 Ball World Championship 2004 was the 15th edition of the WPA World Championship for 9 Ball Pool. It took place from July 10 to 18, 2004 in the Taiwanese capital city, Taipei. Canadian Alex Pagolayan won the championship with a 17-13 victory in the final against Taiwanese Chang Pei Wei. Thank you very much for watching. If you are a fan of Efren Reyes, you should consider subscribing. See you in the next video.